One of the things I absolutely love, love about my community here on YouTube, you guys who watch my videos, um, the people who tune in, the comment section on my videos is always uh, pretty nice. Occasionally I'll get roasted and stuff, but it's usually in good fun. And I appreciate that. I, I love that there isn't the toxicity of, you know, some other creators. Um, if ever there was going to be toxicity though, or anger or hatred directed towards me or others, it would probably be this video because uh, as you can see today, we're doing the all under 25 team from the NBA. And let me just tell you, this is a divisive topic because there's so many young stars. I know for those of you who are fans of certain teams with certain young stud players, like you, you might be offended if your guy doesn't end up on this team, but I'm going to do it in a way that hopefully you will not be mad at me. None of you like this isn't my fault. Okay. <laughs> let me explain. I was moved to make this video. Uh, when I saw the other day, an article posted on the athletic called the NBA all under 25 team. So I didn't really come up with this video. I'm just stealing an idea. You know, that's how we do over here. Um, but in reality, the article was really good. I mean, you see Jaw, Jason Tatum, Luke on there. And as soon as I saw the headline, I started thinking like, oh yeah, that's a really difficult thing to narrow down. Like the top 10 to 15 best players under 25. And in this article, uh, two guys, James L. Edwards and Mike Vorkunov, v Vorkunov, don't know his name. They gave like their all NBA under 25 team. They each gave 15 names. They gave some like honorable mentions. So we are going to use this article. We're going to go over it. I'm curious what you guys think about it. Who you think got left off? Who got snubbed? It's not me making the list. So don't be mad at me, of course. Brother, you are going down. And afterwards, we'll go in and I'll show you how we're going to build our lineup. But first, let's check this out. So on James' team, he's got uh, Luca, Jaw, Trey, Lamelo, K, Darius Garland as his guards. Let's compare them. Mike's guards, Luca, Jaw, Trey, Lamelo, Darius, Cade. Oh, so all their guards are the same. Yeah, I think in terms of like the six best young guards, Darius Garland, man, he's had such a good season. Like him vaulting into that tier is kind of crazy. Cade? Cade had a rough start to his season, but I, I'll admit I didn't watch too many Pistons games, but I'm glad Pistons fans that Cade looks like he's come around. On James' team, he's got Tatum, Ingram, SGA, and Anthony Edwards as his wings. Mike has Jason, Shea, Edwards, Desmond Bain, and Scotty Barnes. Wow. So Scotty Barnes is on both teams. James has him listed as a big fair enough, but Desmond Bain getting in there for Mike. Interesting. I, I gotta see. Let's compare who he booted out. So James has Bam, Evan Mobley, Jaron Jackson, and Zion in there for bigs. Meanwhile, for Mike, he's got Bam, Zion, Evan Mobley, Jarrett, Al, so no, um, no Jaron Jackson Jr. on Mike's team or who else is he missing? He's, he's missing one other, uh, no Brandon, no Brandon Ingram. Okay. Anyway, so a few differences there. Jared Allen, that surprises me a bit. Obviously all these people we're talking about are elite players. So I'm not acting like they're not good, but Jared Allen, first of all, is he, wow, he's not even 24 yet. That's crazy. So he's coming off a 16 and 11 season. He was super impactful to winning for the Cavs. Like when he went out, they certainly struggled this year, but I I don't know, man. With all due respect to Jared Allen in this era, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, he has Scotty Barnes on his team too, but I don't know if Jared Allen makes the cut for me. That's like the one name that sticks out to me. I feel like Jaron Jackson, hold on. Jaron Jackson Jr. not being on one of those teams. I mean, Jaron Jackson, he did lead the league in blocks and he can stretch the floor. I mean, he only shot 32% from three. Jaron 16 and six per game. I guess him and Jared Allen, that's a pretty good discussion. I think Desmond Bain is a really interesting call. I feel like it's pretty bold for Mike to have included him on there because he doesn't like off the top of my head feel like he fits in that group but I mean Desmond Bain arguably the most improved player this year 18 points a game an absolute sniper from deep but you know he's just like a really elite specialist right like a really elite uh three-point shooter I'll I'll admit I don't know how great he is or how sturdy he is defensively but anyways to me I'm not horribly offended by either of these dudes list let's look at the uh the last cuts for James Edwards DeAndre Ayton sure oh Tyler Hero he had Desmond Bain there Bridges Tyrese Howell Burton, man, there is so much young talent in the league. Look at how far down the list Jalen Green is. Barely even a last cut for both these guys. What? I mean, it's hard to say like Jalen Green being a guard. It is hard to put him over any of these people in here. Like I'm not suggesting that. Um, but as a rookie, Jalen Green, 17 points, three assists per game. Uh, decent shooting percentages for a rookie. Honestly, that's not bad. And in Jalen's last, let's go 22 games. He averaged 23 points a game on 48% and 40 percent from three. Yeah, he he was blossoming even as the season ended. So Jalen Green, I'm just curious. I'm not trying to start a war here, Pistons and Rockets fans. I'm just looking at
had Jalen Green versus Cade. Cade, obviously the more well-rounded game 17, five and five. I ah, can't, really can't argue with that. What did he do? Uh, what did Cade do to close out his rookie year? Let's see, he was, a, he was a little bit injured, a little bit on and off, but his final 23 games, he averaged 26 and six. It almost feels, almost feels like Cade versus, uh, versus Jalen Green is a little bit like LeBron versus Carmelo, where Jalen's like that elite scorer right from day one, like Carmelo was in their rookie year, but Cade's got the more well-rounded game. I don't know. I could be completely out to lunch with that uh, comparison, but I hope you guys know what I'm saying. Josh Giddy, Franz Wagner, uh, Wagner, Tyrese Maxey, another interesting name, man. Tyrese Maxey could be on there. Anyways, props to these dudes for putting out this article. I saw in the comment section, they were getting a bit roasted because that's how these things always go. But honestly, super tough task. And I think they both put together some pretty impressive teams. So like, yeah, round of applause. Come on now. But how we're going to build this team is right here. I got a little spin wheel. You know how I love spin wheels. I've put every name that was mentioned in that article, whether on the team or as like an honorable mention last cut, I put them all on here. A bunch of young studs under 25. I'm going to spin the wheel seven times. We're going to play some clutch time again in this video because I, I've been really enjoying clutch time recently. So let's get seven under 25 studs for our team. Robert Williams. Okay. That's an interesting start. I believe Robert Williams was on both guys, uh, honorable mentions list. Another really stout, obviously rim protector. He's got tons of potential. Are we getting another Celtic? Oh no, we're not. Speaking of most improved players this year, Jordan Poole. I like it. We might get all like honorable mentions here. Like who needs a Luca or John Morant? We know they're great. Let's take some of these other young stars. Uh, oh my word, Luca. Josh Giddy? No, I don't have level 40 Josh Giddy yet. Um, I don't think anybody does for that matter, but uh, sure, why not? I'll admit that Josh Giddy would be pretty high up on my list if I was making one of these teams, just because I think the future of the game, like he represents the future of the NBA, the way he plays. And there is someone who was on the starting lineup or at least in the lineup for both teams, Evan Mobley, bruh. <laughs> very exciting time. I totally forgot that Evan Mobley has an out of position and his normal card. Lots of potential both in real life and for our lineup, mo mostly in real life. Miles Bridges, bro, another card I just used recently, but one that I love. And there's definitely a trend here of a bunch of cards that are really early in their career, a bunch of players, I should say, and that are potential like most improved candidates. Uh, <laughs> well, that was an autocorrect. Sadie Bay, otherwise known as Sadiq, as we know. And one final spin, we haven't gotten like any any of the marquee names other than Evan Mobley, which is kind of fun. I was hoping there'd be some good variants in this video. However, that's a marquee name. That is one of the most marquee names. We know Jason Tatum, amazing. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our under 25 team. We've got two games we're gonna play. I'll mix in the uh, other two cards, Sadiq Bay and Robert Williams after this one, but I like this five man unit we got. Lots of potential and uh, hopefully I can take a W with them. And let's go. I actually didn't even, I was looking at my phone. I didn't even see who my opponent has. So this should be fun. Uh, I've got Josh Giddy though. That's all I know. And that's all I need to know. That was a bad shot. Okay, Jordan Poole, good. Oh, good rebound. Yo, Mobes. Mobes, you missed. You, you really missed that, Mobes? Oh, no, he's wide open and making a terrible release three with style. Okay, so he's got Steph Curry. I see that. All right. That shot he just took gave me no confidence, although it was a little bit better than the shot I took. Jordan Poole, that one's open. Perfect. Though. That one's open? What, are you running a zone or something? Let's go Tatum. Let's turn this thing around Tatum. Wait a minute. Evan Mobley? Nope, nope. We're turning it around with Tatum right here, right now. I'm going that way. No, I'm going this way. No, I'm going Jordan Poole's way. Finally, an open look. Thank you. Come on, let's run it in transition. Josh Giddy, get to the corner. Josh Giddy, get to the wing. Nope, nope. You know what? I always forget Josh Giddy can bully people. Oh, but Jason Tatum wide open for four. Ooh. For four. Bro, I haven't hit a four pointer in so long in this game mode. Wow. My opponent is not good at this game and he's really about to beat me. He's really? Okay. Thank you, Jason. One stop, one hit, and I'm winning this game. It has to be done. There it is. There's the stop. No, I rebounding me by a mile. Okay. I could go for a four here, but I've definitely, I've had no success with fours recently. So let me just find, uh, let me just find a good look for three or for two, uh, miles bridges inside. Oh my word. No, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this game right now. What was that? I was just not paying attention to the shot clock. Oh my gosh, dude, this, this line of just, I tried stealing that. What happened? Bro, my opponent is like lagging. He can't even, he can't even close to time a shot correctly right now. And I'm really about to lose this game. This is crazy. Okay, four pointer. Yes, that's space. Good. <laughs> 
There's my four. I cannot green a deep jumper like that. I cannot green a four pointer right now, but we make it off the white. I'm going to OT. I'm going to OT again. Look at this. I don't know if my opponent is like eternally delayed on every jumper, but how am I in this game? This is embarrassing. I need to win it right here, right now. Right here, right now, Evan Mobley. Right here, right now. Uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jason Tatum wide open. Oh, my God. What? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I thought the game wasn't ending. That was ugly. A flick up at the buzzer. I don't feel good about it. But you know, a W is a W no matter how ugly. I've adjusted the lineup a bit. We've got Sidney Bay, Robert Williams, the two other cards we spun for, and I'm running Evan Mobley at the two. Okay, let's get it, boys. Okay, let us go. I think my lineup's a little bit weaker now. Does he have the unicorn ball? Doesn't matter though. I am, I'm warmed up. I'm focused. Now let's make it happen. As I turn the ball over first possession, you've got to be absolutely kidding me right now yeah give me that ball back on a stupid turnover unreal stuff unreal stuff Sadiq Bay wide Perfect. open that's 59 points Sadiq Bay or however many points he scored in that game Get anyways look at, yo, look at Evan Mobley I baited that from a mile away I knew what he was doing Sadiq two for two I baited it from a mile away dotted into the corner to Sadiq Bay right I'm rhyming on purpose let's go oh dude his Kawhi Leonard's killing me he hit me with my own signature step back move that is disrespectful. I gotta get him back. Watch me get him back right here. Tatum. Ta nope. No. Uh, Tatum. No. Get out of the way, Evan Mobley. You're Why can I not do that move? With okay. All right. All right. We we f we floundering out here now. Tatum. Bailout. <laughs> Rebound. Oh no. Remember when I thought I was gonna blow this opponent out? Yeah. Okay. And after all the good vibes of this video or uh, of the way this game started, we are now in some serious trouble, bruh. We are now in some serious trouble. Hold up. Hold up. Step back. Step back. Go around him, Tatum. Yeah. Yeah. Can I score inside? No. Pass it. Yes. Yes. Mobley. That's. Cash. That's cash, brother. Good pass, Tatum. Oh, but that's my fault too. In a good way. Evan Mobley is green. Shooting guard Evan Mobley. Money. Ain't no way you're hitting a post fade over Evan Mobley. I know it's Kawhi Leonard, but that would have been straight up disrespectful. Uh, oh wait, that was Sadiq Bay on the defense. Okay, either way, you ain't hitting it. Sadiq, no, no, no. No, Evan Mobley's hitting it though. Evan Mobley, step back. That's cash. Bro, Evan Mobley decided to get his backpack out. All NBA 25, under 25 team. Evan Mobley, the real MVP. Josh Giddy, good steal. Josh Giddy, the good steal. Sadiq Bay, I need a dagger from somebody. I don't even know how much time's left in this game, but I'm feeling like a dagger with Jason. No, that ain't it. Uh, Josh Giddy, bailout. Bailout. That's a good look. That's a good. No, no, no. Yeah, Tatum. Yes, Sadiq. Bro, I'm trying to pass that to Sadiq Bay way sooner than that. Y'all got me messed up here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That was the game plan all along, ladies and gentlemen. That was it. Give the ball to Evan Mobley. Let him do something ridiculous. Just amazing. That's how you win in this game. Fair enough. Wait, one more? What? One more. Why not? 14 points with Evan Mobley. All of them come. All of them were big time. Wow. Okay. That's the all NBA under 25 team led by Evan Mobley and pretty much nobody else. Two victories. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video, man. That article was really interesting. Um, You know, if you want to flame the people who wrote it, just be respectful, of course, but feel free to tell me why they're wrong or right in the comment section. I thought it would be a fun little video idea and I'm really vibing with clutch time the last few days. So I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, the whole video. Drop a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you in the next video y'all my name's jay hope you have a great day peace